Chrissy Taylor here with Hot 97.5 and 103.9 with Flume Hi. at McDowell Mountain Music Fest. And I hear something really exciting is happening today. You're doing actually an entirely brand new set, different than when you came through and played Comerica a couple months ago, right? Yeah, we got a bunch of new songs. Sweet. Now, are we talking from Skin 1, Skin 2, and or stuff that hasn't even been premiered? Uh, all sorts of bits and pieces. Uh, some from the latest EP, some from the one before that. But uh, it should be fun. I'm excited to play tonight. Yeah. So you started with the album. Congratulations on the Grammy Award. Thank you. That's amazing. So now you have the little Grammy on top of all the Arias. No, I haven't got it yet. You didn't get that. I don't have the Grammy yet. Oh, you didn't get it yet? No, they don't but give you it to you. It. I when know. Do they give it to you? Mate, Shh, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting. Where are you going to put it once you get it? Somewhere in LA, because I'm setting up a home away from home in LA. Okay. I don't actually have a permanent home yet, but uh, when I do, we'll find the right spot. It's got to be perfect. Are you going to have a studio in LA? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, it's exciting. That is really cool. But down in Australia, right, you've gotten to meet a lot of different artists. I know that you've been linked up with Chet Faker, right? And then Lord came across from New Zealand mm -hmm. and you guys worked together. What is it like working with Chet Faker, Beck, Tovlo, all these different artists? I mean, they're all different to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, with Beck, I actually went over to his house. Now, he was great to work with. I kind of just went over there, brought my laptop, played a bunch of ideas. And he just sang and I recorded everything and then chopped stuff up and... How does it work? Do you start with like different harmonies and melodies and then you have the vocalists come in? What's the usually, process? Usually I like to start something on my own and kind of come up with a bit of an idea or a progression or a beat or something and then take it to them. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. And then they'll, they'll kind of do a bunch of oohs and ahs and ideas and then I'll chop out bits and pieces and create little melodies and hooks and ideas and then we'll do lyrics and uh, but again it's different artist to artist awesome well today you're playing at mcdowell mountain music fest here in phoenix last time i saw you was at life is beautiful in las vegas it was awesome amazing set do you ever put together your music with the intention of knowing that you're going to have a massive light show behind you or are those two separate things that happen yeah sometimes i I mean, I write whatever I want to write and I don't really necessarily tailor it for playing out. But recently I've kind of been, you know, it's it's so fun to get a reaction from a crowd. So sometimes I do write bits and pieces and I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun to play out, you know. Yeah, because I've noticed with the newer music, yeah. right, I actually kind of hear colors sometimes like blues and purples. And I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it almost felt like there was intentionally like color behind the sounds that you've been creating lately. Good. That's great. That's what you've been oh, there's going a, there's for. There's a word for that when you see things. There is color. a word for yeah. it. I know Lord has that too, where she, she hears it. Yeah. like I've kind of got, I've got yeah. a mild version of that too. Oh, awesome. Um, so now when did you start with music? You play instruments, right? Yeah. I played saxophone uh, at high school and primary school growing up. Uh, my dad tried to learn it, but then he gave up after a couple of months. So he had one, so I just kind of picked it up. And uh, and then I found music production and started toying with that. And then that became a hobby. And then I kind of liked doing that more. Yeah. Because I could control the whole thing. You know, I could right. write full songs. Uh, and yeah, we just, you know, after school, mess around on the computer, make a beat. What did you use for people trying to get into making electronic music? Was it. Garage band or something easy that I, most people have on their computers. Yeah, yeah. I um, I started out with I don't know. You've I've I've told this story a lot. The music pro the the cereal box story. Okay. You know you know the cereal box story. Are you trying to pry that out of me? It's okay. We don't have to tell that story. We don't have to tell that story if you don't want to. Uh, I'm gonna tell it. It's it's the I uh, discovered some music production software in a cereal box. Uh, it was a promo going on. It's really basic. Just a bunch of loops and you could just put anything in and it would all sound good but that was the first time I discovered you could do music on the computer and uh, ever since then I've just been you know got another program which is also super crappy but um, yeah gradually just learn more and more and uh, there's so much out there now as well there's so much free stuff to do yeah. but it's so easy to get into uh -huh. if you're excited about it I was thinking about the the new albums, which are all different versions of Skin, right? There's the main album, then there's Skin 1 and Skin 2, the, the EPs, right? Yeah, so they're full of songs that I didn't feel f like they fit on the record, but they were made around the time of Skin. Are, 
with skin, did you mean it to sort of have dual personalities in a certain regard? Because it feels like the songs where you have people flowing and rapping over them are a little bit more aggressive than say, the songs never be like you. They're a little bit more melodic, a little bit more, I don't know, flow driven, like vibey kind mm -hmm. of. Was that intentional or did that just sort of happen that way? I guess it just kind of happened. I had a whole bunch of ideas and I started working with all these artists and uh, working with vocalists, like singers as opposed to rappers is totally different. Yeah. And, and like completely different challenges for me. Uh, so. Do you have a I, preference? I mean, they're both great in their own right. Like I wouldn't want to do just one or the other. Uh, with rappers, it's fun because it's it's such a play on rhythms and things. But with vocalists, it's great to get melodies out of them. And um, I mean, I just basically got to work with a lot of really talented people, and yeah. uh, it all came together in LA at the end. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Do you find that the crowds, when you do live shows like today at McDowell Mountain Music Festival, do you find that they react better to the songs with the female vocalists than they do the rap songs, or is no? It kind of the it's, same? A, it's definitely a different energy. Yeah. It's, with the rapper ones, it's more testosterone fueled. Whereas if it's never be like you, it's like all the girls yeah. get into that. We just put out EP two, so that's yeah, um, yeah that's out in the world. And that's the and final chapter. Is there another chapter. one? Oh, it's the final that's one. That's it. That's it. That's it. What about all the other tracks that are like looming somewhere in a hard drive that haven't come out? Are you going to release them? No, that's most of them. That's really, most of I got them? most of it out. It's uh, it's kind of, it's cleansing i feel really liberated now and excited to move on to the next phase and what do you think that's gonna be that's a good question you have any ideas i'm not sure i'm i know it's gonna be different again like each one it's each time it's gonna be different i'm not really looking to do another album anytime soon i just want to do lots of music and put it out sporadically you know finish stuff and then put out a month or two later rather than sitting on it for years you know right. to do this album I just want to make music and put it out and uh, is there anyone you really want to work with uh, yeah I mean I was just early today someone asked me that I was like uh, I thought Andre 3000 would be awesome that to work would be with. amazing yeah that'd be cool that would be super cool um, but what yeah. about any female vocalists are there any like super big stars that you'd be interested in working with Nothing really no strikes one. my mind, no. The Toe of Low collaborations have been amazing now. Oh, thanks. Yeah, she's awesome. She's so talented. She's really great to work with, too. And she's super creative, right? She's really kind of quick and uh, gets in there and just is full of ideas. You know, you don't have to sit there and try and figure things out. She just, like, gets on the mic and uh, lots of energy. Do you actually write the lyrics to a lot of the songs or is that all collaborated? Uh, it's collaborated stuff, but when I'm singing, it's just oohs and ahs and things. But in most of the tracks I sing, just kind of, you know. I know although that. In the, there's a track called Three, which I sing, but I mean, it's not real singing. It's just, mostly it's just me singing into a MacBook microphone and okay. putting it in there. So like behind the scenes singing. Well, I can't really sing very well, so but I know what I want to hear. Often I'll sing with like an, an idea for vocalists and I'll like before we get in the studio, I'll have my own idea, which I won't show them and then we'll start something. And then if we're kind of a little bit stuck, then I'll be like, hey, here's something that I thought could be cool. And then they can kind of vibe off that. So where did you make the previous three albums? Did you make any of them in LA or is LA going to bring a whole new flavor to your music? Well, I've only done two albums. And so it's so Flume is the first one, Flume. then Skin is the second skin one. Skin is the second one, and then you have the EPs. Then I've got Lockjaw, two EPs. Oh, yeah, skin that, one, yeah. and Skin two, That's right? right, yeah, yeah, I forgot about Lockjaw. Okay. Sorry, I thought Lockjaw was But then the there, was, there was one even before the album, which had Sleepless on it and a couple of others uh, way back, but yeah. So that's four EPs and two albums, that's solid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of <laughs> I got, music, I got a little bit of how music. young you are. <laughs> Do you identify with like the term EDM or electro pop or any of the stuff that they kind of label you as yeah i mean i i don't i guess i don't really identify as edm massively but i mean edm means something different to everyone yeah it does so you know um in, in the states it feels like anything electronic is edm so well it used I guess to I be am. like back in the day people would get techno and house and trance and all the different things confused and they just started calling it edm because people couldn't figure out what was what 
I think it gets a little murky sometimes, especially yeah. in this day and age. I feel like everyone's mixing genres and. Um, Who do you feel is someone that's on the come up that everyone should know in the music universe that you feel like maybe is only a big deal in Australia? Like Chet Faker's kind of big here, but not super well known like he is over there. Uh, there's a duo, Cosmos Midnight. Okay. And they're coming over to LA soon, but. They're, they're really good. They're yeah. from Sydney. Okay. Yeah, they're brothers. Awesome. And they're brothers and they're twins. Oh, nice. And they're All produced right. together. So, what do you have coming up for the rest of the summer? Uh, lots of time to write. I mean, I'm doing a bunch of festivals, but actually, I think we're doing quite a few in summer. Yeah, we got a bunch of festivals also in Europe as well. But this year is a little more chill than last year. Last year was like nine months of touring. This year is three. So, uh, hopefully lots of new music yeah and do you think the new music you're going to stick with that sort of like syncopated dissonant thing that you do sometimes in your tracks or do you think it's going to involve even further from where you've been it's hard to know it's a mystery i, I don't know okay I'm i don't, excited I don't to know see. what i'm going to do it'll be interesting though whatever it is i think you're going to get more grammys that i, I can promise so. you <laughs> you're super talented thank you so much Thank Bloom. you have a great set tonight we appreciate you sitting with cheers. us cheers